This encounter took place in early 2009 in the Smith River area of Del Norte County, Northern California. The witness states, I got a call from a ranger friend of mine whom I'd met many times before in this area. We'll call him Scott. Scott had asked if I wanted to go with him on a hike looking for illegal bear hunters. So I met him at our designated spot and we crossed at Patrick Creek and then headed south. I've always joked with him because he knows about my previous Bigfoot encounter. All I heard for an hour and 45 minutes was, there's no such thing as Bigfoot, it's just in your imagination. We came up on a ridge that had an open area to see the valley below. I took out my binoculars and started scanning. I couldn't believe it. There were three creatures about a quarter of a mile away in a grassy area over by the edge of a cliff. I had to laugh. Scott asked, what is so funny? I pointed and I said, right down there is my imagination. He looked through the binoculars and his exact words were, holy shit, you have got to be kidding me. The male creature stood erect facing us as if he could see us looking at him. You could see that the female that was with him had breasts and was doing something in the grass with a much smaller creature. The big guy stood still. We watched them for at least 10 minutes. Then the big guy, my rough guess, he was about eight feet tall, did something with his right hand, and then they all stood, got in a single file line, turned, and went into the tree line along the cliff, which was above them. And just like that, they were gone. Scott was very nervous and actually in a panic, as in his 15 years of service as a ranger, he'd never witnessed anything like that. And he was skeptical. He didn't believe it. He didn't believe my stories. I insisted that we go down where the creatures were, and we did, but it took us a while to get to their location. We could see where they had been, and now Scott was really paranoid. We followed their trail along the cliff, and then about 45 yards, the trail went up the cliff, straight up the cliff. We did the same, even though Scott didn't want to. It took us about 45 minutes to get to the top, and we tracked them west along the edge of the cliff. To my surprise, they went straight back down left us sitting there with miles in between us. Scott even said how smart that was, which made him even more paranoid. By that time, it was starting to get dark, and I hadn't brought any night gear with me, so we headed back. I wasn't going to talk him into going any further anyhow, so we decided we would turn back. Scott never said a word the whole four-mile track back to the river, but I could tell he was visibly shaken, and he didn't want to talk about it. So when we got back to our meeting spot, we said our goodbyes, and I called him the next day just to check in to see how he was doing. He told me that he turned in his resignation, and now he lives in Santa Barbara. Do you have a weird wilderness encounter you'd like to share with the show? I would love to hear from you. It's people like you who keep this show interesting. If you have an encounter or you know someone who does have an encounter, please email me at Heidi at weirdwilderness.com. Again, that's Heidi, H-E-I-D-I, at weirdwilderness.com. Thank you so much for listening to the channel and for your continued support. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, like, and share. As always, thanks for stopping by the channel. It's people like you who make my dream possible.